Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we are going to be playing out of the Huda Beauty Mercury Re Re Retrograde. I'm having issues talking today. Now, I really don't find this to be a winter palette. It was launched in October of 2019. So, I don't really feel it to be wintry, but spring's right around the corner, so I am excited for that. Um, I do feel that it is definitely a spring palette. I mean, look at that. It is so pretty. So, um, again, this is just a review based off of a customer purchasing an item. I've got no makeup, you know, background at all. Don't judge or judge easy. Um, no makeup experience. So I'm probably worse than a child. So bear with me with it. Um, but hopefully I'll get better also over time, but I really wouldn't. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't count on it. So, the first color we're going to go into is Momentum, and I'm just going to set the base of my eye primer with it, which I did use the ABH. Again, these reviews, you're going to see it firsthand, how easy it is to use, if it, or how easy it's not to use. And they're basic looks, because, well... Not basic, but I'm basic, you know. I mean, I go out of the box sometimes, but for the most part, pretty, you know, just, mm. I have a standard, you know, look I kind of always go to. I do try to step out, like I said, every now and then. So then for my crease color, and I'm using the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, man, why would, man. Like, that is kind of a tongue twister if you really think about it. If you had to say that so many times, mm-mm. I'm also using her brushes that came with this line, just to see if they are, again, I love to buy the tools that go with the products, because I want to see if it works better or not, you know? So, the next shade I'm going to go into, I'm going to use for my crease color, and it's going to be, let's use Crash. And we're just going to make me a crease up here because I have hooded eyes. So if I'm looking straight ahead, you won't see this color if I don't build it up higher. Not really for sure when that started either. Like part of me wants to go, is it age? Or is it when I lost weight? Like I don't know exactly, but it did start nonetheless. You know, sometimes I wonder if this color is really necessary, the transition color. I really do, because sometimes, or maybe it's just me, and sometimes I just pick too light, because I just don't see it sometimes. And unfortunately, this is one of those colors that I'm just not seeing. Maybe it's there. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't really watched any tutorials on this. I probably should have. I kind of like to do that not for like what they think about the palette, but like how they used it. 
because again, I'm not a makeup artist, so I really don't know. And obviously, I'm not going to go that crazy in making a look. Alright, so, so far it seems to be okay. I mean, as far as blending, I don't really see it that much. Uh, I kind of do here, I guess. I mean, it's very little, but, you know, I guess that's the way transitions are supposed to be. The next color I'm going to go into is Karma, and I'm using the same brush, same end. And this one, I'm just going to move just right below that and really get it in there. And I don't go very dark. I mean, I build. So, honestly, the lighter the shade, that's okay for me because I would rather build it up. Because when they they are highly pigmented, it is so hard for me to blend it out. Now, the good ones that are like that, though, are very easy to blend out. That's the only plus to it. When it does happen to me. Then for the outer corner, I think I'm going to use, <laughs> I should use this, um, Hot Mess. Uh, I really don't know if I should use this. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to use Actually, my Tom Ford. I'm in love with this brush. I shouldn't use this brush though. Let's see if I can find another brush. I'm sure I could. All right. Let it be a similar brush. And it won't go back in there, so I can't do nothing without it. For that outer corner, I really have to be careful because, like, I mess up all the time. I'm horrible about it. All right. Let's use this one. The Morphe 321. Why not? It looks good, don't you think? I think. And like I said, we're gonna go into hot mess. And again, these looks really don't take me that long when I'm not like filming. So don't think that because I'm sitting here for 30 minutes that it's took, you know, it would take me 30 minutes to do this look. It wouldn't. And honestly, once you watched it, if you did try to do this, it wouldn't take you no 30 minutes either. I am going to try to start using brushes though that most, you know, people have. Just because you know, I want to be able to do that if need be. 
and maybe as you're creating your own look, you can add something to it to make it better and let me know about it. Because I would love to know. Alright, so then I'm going to take I'm going to take off balance on the rest of my eye, which would be the inner, well, yeah, my inner part of my eye. Honestly, the mats are pretty good. I haven't, I'm getting ready to do the shimmers. Um, but most of these colors you probably already have other than like the shimmers or the satins in it. Cause I'm gonna tell you some of these, mm -mm, like Mercury, Supernova, uh, Ultraviolet, it's a pretty one. I'm going to touch up the outer corner again with hot mess. I am a hot mess right now, let me tell you. I don't know if I'm coming or if I'm going. And of course it's not, you know. And it's just back and forth, back and forth, really. But you can see how easy it is to go back and forth, back and forth. Mm. Mm. Let me go back into Karma. I don't want to lose that color. And now they say that lashes make the look, and that is true too. However, don't look at me for lashes because I can't do them. I've tried and tried and tried, and I suck. I'm going to go ahead and take that hot mess under my eyes, and I'm going to actually use a real technique. Um, shading brush. Well, I guess I should use this one. We'll try it first, but... I think I'm gonna go back in with the real technique. Actually worked pretty good. Not mad at that at all. It's kind of scratchy though. Mm. Then I am going to take a Oh, I 
know I have one somewhere. I swear I do. We'll use this one. It's a ColourPop E6. And I'm going to take this one here, Vortex, and line the upper lash line with it. I don't know if that's picking up or not, guys, but this is my life. I tell you, you really, like, I don't know. I guess, like, I had a boy and a girl, and one's 22 now, one's 18. And they fought, but not, like, not over, like, their stuff or, or you know, anything like that. I don't know how they fought, really. I'm like, I know they did, but not really. Or maybe I was just younger when I had them. But then I had two more. Or a ten and a six year old. Now again, they fight, but I don't think nothing of it. Like I think of it as their kids, you know, type of thing. But then my granddaughter gets into the mix. And her and my six year old, oh holy hell. Or holy heck. That's crazy. So, for parents that have two girls that are so close to age, I feel for you. Especially, especially girls. Because they, mm-mm, they are so, like, territorial. It's crazy. So, I do like that color too, to line. It's kind of like a dark purple. But, you do have to work it to, like it looks way darker in the pan than what initially comes out. Now you can, you can build it to this. be that brush too. I'm not gonna say it's not. I've never really played with the ColourPop brushes yet. I was waiting to do that when I did a thing for it. So, all right. I think actually, I think I'm gonna keep it all matte look today. I just think it looks better as an all matte look. Now I do have Fallout. I just noticed that. So I need to get that off of there before it, uh, I start looking like I have a black eye here. I'm not so sure. I can sometimes. Other times I do. 
probably should have put powder under there when I did this. Yeah, I don't think I fixed it. If anything, I probably made it worse, but we're going on. So, fallout for sure, but I think I may have had too much on the brush, honestly. Like I said, it's the ColourPop brush, can't, I, I'm pretty sure it's just that particular brush. I'm not even going to pretend like it's not, because it wasn't very stiff at all. It was very flimsy, so I think it was error on my part on what kind of brush that was to be honest with you so we'll just do it like that but we do have this let me go back in maybe this here And then for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna go in um, to Cosmic for my inner corner highlight. I'm not gonna put water on it because I always like to see what it does, you know, before the water, any water or setting spray. And honestly, water works just the same. So. If you don't want to waste your settings, right? Use water. My eyebrows are causing me issues also. Well, my whole face is causing me issues. Who who am I kidding? But, you know, it is what it is. We're stuck with what we got, right? Well, I mean, I guess technically we could alter it. But, would we want it then either? So, that's one thing. I'm always like, yeah, no. <laughs> but. I know that brush isn't massive, but it actually is kind of cool. I've been playing with it lately, and I actually think it's kind of cool a little bit. But anyway, that's a different story there. Um, so next, I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. Then for mascara, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't think I have any of the hair to booty. No. What are we gonna try? Let's try this one. Covergirl ex Exhibitionist. 
like, yeah, they weigh more than I have. It's new. I don't know what the raves on it's supposed to do for you. If it's supposed to lengthen volume, both, I don't know. Probably should have looked it up, but I really wasn't. I never know what I'm doing, like the look. I don't plan it. Because I feel if I plan it, I'll never record because I'll, I'll never have it right in my head. Oh, lower lashes. I was, duh, I was like, where was I? I forgot what I was doing. See, this is my life. I'll be doing something, seriously. And I know everybody does it, but, like, mine is an extreme. Like, I will be sitting there doing dishes and looking out the window, right? And thinking I'm doing the dishes. And I'm not kidding you. An hour will pass. I don't even know what I'm looking at because honestly, there's nothing to look at. Like I really, I do. I like, after I realize I do it, I'm like, what was I doing? You know? So I'm like looking around going, what was I looking at? There's nothing there. There's a bush. There's, you know, cars, there's a house. Like what, what was I looking at? It's so crazy. All right. That was the MAC Extended Play Giga Black. Love this for the lower lash. Don't mind the cover girl. I actually like that on my top lashes. It's not bad. Um, obviously, don't do lashes. Well, I'm in the process of learning to do them, but I don't do them because it's horrible. So I am so sorry because I do not know where that phone is. Hold on. I do know where that phone is. But anyway, I'm going to just add a little bit of the Dior Lip Maximizer in. I think that Rosewood. And that will complete the look. It's very simple. So I don't mind it. 
um, I think it turned out really good. The colors are definitely there. You can definitely build upon it. Um, I like it. So, but I would recommend it. I believe it was $60, 65 I'm not really for sure. Don't quote me on it. Um, but it, it, I know it was in her price range for her regular palettes. Um, and this one is a nice hard case. I do like that. Um, and I just think it's going to be really nice come spring. So, I would definitely pick it up. I mean, obviously, it's not out of stock or anything like that. So, it's easy to get Sephora. So, I do like the look. And I did an all matte look. So, you know, you can add some whatever into it if you want it. The satin or the shimmers and stuff. But I like it. I hope you did too. And if you did, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell. That way you're notified of... of all my videos um all being like maybe five right now but i'm still filming um and then but you'll be uh, notified of the upcoming ones in the end what else is there oh when you hit the bell hit all and then leave me a comment let me know what you liked what you didn't like what i could do better what i need to do what you know you would like me to see more of um that way I know what you're wanting from just a consumer's point of view or from a consumer. Um, because I want you to see firsthand whatever it is that I'm using. So, um, but let me know. And until next time, bye.